The New England Colonies Book by Alex Townsend. The New England Colonies consisted of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine. My name is John Lincoln. I was a religious leader, a religious leader in the Puritan colonies. I expelled much of the impediments for not following the church. I hope to be seen as an example for the pilgrims and the other religious settlements. I was elected governor of Massachusetts Colony. I lived from 1588 to 1649. My settlement was a city on a hill. I named my settlement Boston. I made the colony in 16... My name is Roger Williams. I did not like the church's ways. I thought government and church should be separate. When I got expelled from the colony, I created, I created one. Also, I created a partnership with the Indians. My settlement was near Salem. I thought that people should not be punished for their beliefs. I also disagreed with the Indians' treatment. I thought the colony should live in peace with the Indians. The Puritan life rules and consequences. No napping during church. No misbehaving in church. Ne never miss church on Sundays and never speak out in dissent in church. You will get punished by if breaking these rules by getting punished in front of everybody, getting put in the stocks for several hours, or getting expelled from the colony. And this is my diary. Dear diary, I am still in the woods. My followers and I have found land and are planning to create a colony with Roger Williams. We are going to make the church and government separate. We also have religious freedom in the colony. The colony is going to be near Providence. We are going to call the colony Rhode Island. My family and followers have been camping. I am sitting in with my family. It is very cold in the woods. The men are out hunting. Hopefully we can survive and build the colony. Hello, I am a Puritan man, and this is my diary. Dear diary, today church was very unexciting. I sat there for six hours reading the Bible when the minister talked. We ate lunch, which was very good. I went back to church. It was not very entertaining. After church, I went into the common and checked all the fences. Being a fence viewer is exciting. After that, I went to, me to the meeting house. At the meeting house, we discussed the town behavior. Then we took a vote on the new law about church. The law said that people had to go to church every Sunday. Today was a very... New England colonial life, village. People all lived around the common. They had a church, general store, sawmill, and a blacksmith. People gathered in the meeting house to discuss laws and jobs. Jobs included constable, grave digger, town crier, and fence viewer. Everybody bartered with one another. New England colonial life. Gender rule. Women took care of the children, made batter, made butter, preserved foods, prepared food, and made quilts. They also made silk, brushes, and quilts. Men hunted, chopped wood, farmed, guarded the town borders, and could vote. A New England colonial life. Schooling. Schools were very important. Everybody had to read so they could read the Bible. Most kids had, to, had horn books which were made out of animal horn. If someone got a wrong answer or was misbehaving, they got whipped. A horn book had, in, had the alphabet. Few people would go on to Harvard College. It was, all, it was an all-boys school. School was very important. New England colony. Farming. The colonists had to wait a long time for plants to grow. The rocky soil and cold winters made it difficult to farm. The farmers would trade with England for other resources. Soon farmers and merchants created the free market economy. New England's economy, logging and shipbuilding. Lumber was a, big was a big part of economy. People would cut down trees and send them to sawmills. They would take the lumber and make it into ships. Ships were cheaper to make due to lots of lumber. Europeans valued the ships because they did not have much forest. They used pine tar to make the ships watertight. New England's economy. Fishing and whaling. The New England colonies caught many fish. Then they dried the surplus and sent it to Europe. After they killed whales, they towed them to shore and cut them up. People hunted far in the ocean and it took months at a time. People would use the whale oil for lanterns to light up their home. Colonial trade routes. Exports to England. Furs, grain, whale oil, dry fish, sugar, molasses, fruit, coffee, lumber, tobacco, and rice. Exports to New England. Tea, spices, wine, cloth, paper, slaves, manufacturers, goods, sugar, molasses, and coffee. Exports to Africa. Rum, iron products, and silver.